Hello Pisces, hope you are doing well. This is your bonus reading. Messages of light and love come forward here for Pisces spirit. What do they need to know for their highest good and for the highest good of all? So the top three videos for the week in terms of likes and views gets a bonus reading. So here is your reading. Thank you for liking my videos. Really super excited because I'm about to put out a contest. Uh, you can win a bunch of different things. We have weekly winners coming out. Um, I ordered a bunch of tarot and or oracle decks, brand new for you. Um, so look for that here in the next couple of days. I'll be putting a video out about it. All right, let's see what's going on here with you, Pisces. What's going on here with Pisces spirit? First card out, four of wands. We're talking about a soulmate. Wow, these two wanted to come out. We have a King of Cups here, as well as a Ten of Wands. We have the Empress card here and the Outcome. Bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups and the Three of Swords. So we have a couple of different energies going on here. Someone here from your past showing up in the reading. Could be somebody you were married to with the Two of Cups. We have a Ten of Pentacles here. Um, it's a slow moving energy of Knight of Pentacles, but let's get some clarity. You also have this uh, King of Cups here. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that you were connecting with. It doesn't have to be that sign, but somebody here. Um, it doesn't even have to be a soulmate. It could also be a family member or a friend. Someone who is in your, could be a child of yours. Let's find out what's going on here. I'll get some more clarity. You're definitely in an attractive energy here, Pisces. Bringing forward, um, bringing forward new abundance here with the Ten of Pentacles. Why is this Four of Wands here? Ah, and I just heard a crow flying around outside. Just heard a, a crow. Interesting. Eight of Wands. Somebody here from your past wanting to message you. Trying to communicate with you here. What else? Why is this Four of Wands here? Page of Wands. Person is immature. Picking up already from your past here, this person is wanting you back. They're wanting to connect with you. The Empress is here twice in this reading already. This Page of Wands, I feel like this person reaching out to you from your past, they want some kind of connection with you again, but it's immature energy. They feel very attracted to you here with the Empress card. That this person isn't serious. I don't think you take this person seriously, and they're coming forward in a very immature energy as well, Page of Wands. This person needs to grow up. <laughs> You're not entertaining this person any longer. They, I think they want to reach out to you to say, let's have some fun together. You know you want to have fun with me again. Let's party. Let's enjoy our life together. But it, they're coming forward not offering you anything. This person has nothing to offer. All they want to do is have fun. They don't want a commitment. They don't want to build anything with you. They don't want to. They don't want to create a long-term relationship with you. This person is, just wants to play. They want to play games. They want to play mind games with you. They want to know that you're still attracted to them in some way as well. But I feel like you're you're over it here, Pisces. Whoever this was, you put a lot of effort into the relationship and didn't get a lot back in return. I feel like you're definitely moving on from this person. Ten of Wands is all about a lot of effort that was wasted that you put in that, um, again, you didn't get a lot back in return. Why is this King of Cups here, though? I feel like this is, who is this King of Cups? It could be somebody different than this past person. Who is this King of Cups here? The Hermits. 
You'll know who it is for you. Each of you are somebody new. Could be, this could be somebody new. It could be somebody from your past. Um, but it could be this Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. It could also be a family member of yours. Somebody who's a father. This person is alone. And they're depressed. Five of Cups. You may have had a falling out with this individual. And we have a King of Wands here as well. So we have two kings showing up here in this reading. These are two different people. So I just feel like you're picking up energy from different individuals here. This king of wands person, both these king of wands and these king of cups are both depressed. That's the message that's coming forward. They feel the loss of your connection and they don't know how to reconcile it. They may be thinking about you a lot and that's why you're picking up their energy here, Pisces. You're going to have to shed these energies. You're going to have to block these two energies. If you haven't blocked these two energies already, they're coming forward wanting to have some kind of an effect or impact on you. That's exactly what I'm picking up, that you're not bothered by them any longer. And they're disappointed that they haven't been able to affect you in some way. Yeah, you may have blocked them and they feel like they should have more of a say in what happens in your in your emotions. That you should feel depressed or sad over the loss of them, but I don't feel like you're you feel that way. <laughs> Pisces, you'd rather be alone here with this hermit card than deal with these people because I feel like I feel like these two kings here and take it how it resonates for you. These could be feminine or masculine energies depending on your story okay but these these energies these could be co-workers these could be friends of yours these could be family members of yours whoever these people are to you they wanted to have some kind of effect on your emotions they wanted you to feel guilty they wanted you to feel bad they wanted you to feel some level of sadness over the loss of the connection with them and you're not feeling sad you're moving on because these people are Definitely, they act like victims. Ten of Wands. These people can sit in their own sadness. This is not your problem. This pe these people brought this problem on themselves. This is not your concern. You'd rather, again, you'd rather be alone than deal with these people. And them have some kind of... It's like they're feeding on your energy here, Pisces. They're feeding on you, like you're an empath here. These people act like they're some kind of victim of yours. No, not necessarily here, Pisces. You're, that's the problem with these people is that, and a lot of times a problem with Pisces is that they want, they're, they're taking advantage of your kindness, taking advantage of your sensitivity. And they're trying to make it out like you're some kind of a jerk or that you're the you're at fault for why they are feeling sad. But these people, you could not take them seriously. P Page of Wands, they weren't in this relationship with you to create any kind of abundance. They weren't in this relationship with you to create any kind of a real connection. There's not a legitimate, real emotional connection with these people. They just came in and wanted to make you feel like they were superior to you. No. And I think that as you separated yourself from these people and blocked, perhaps blocked these people, they came back thinking, wow, what I did didn't make an impact on Pisces like I thought it would. And it may have, you may have um, been easily influenced by these people in your past here. You may have um, easily been persuaded in some way that they had legitimate um, matters to take up with you, like that they, they wanted you to feel like they were superior. And you may have bought into that logic at some point in your past, but once you've exposed these people, they don't, they're not able to get one over on you here, Pisces. They're not able to, um, I feel like you're the winner in the situation here <laughs> and it's pissing them off. They feel sadness too, that they didn't um, 
then they're not able to move on from this relationship with you. They're not able to set aside whatever hangups they have with you. They're not able to put it behind them. They keep thinking about you, thinking about what happened in your relationship, thinking about what types of interactions they had with you. They're, they're replaying those interactions over and over again in their minds and wondering why they weren't able to sustain some kind of power over you here. In the outcome, you have this Empress card. Again, more attractive energy. You're coming out on top here. Nine of Cups. I feel Goddess energy showing up here in this reading. Nine of Pentacles. Realizing that you are very strong and powerful. Anything that you want here, Pisces, can be yours here with the Star card. This is a wish granted in your outcome because you're no longer allowing these energies to feed off of you any longer. This was something really hard to overcome because these were soulmates of yours, okay? A soulmate doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It can be you had some kind of a storyline that needed to play out with these people. You had some kind of a soul contract with these individuals that um and you may not even fully grasp or understand why these people were in your life and they may have been in your life temporarily or um, a very long time that you had to get over there was some kind of test that these people were presenting to you that you were able to overcome you may have felt like you needed these people in your life and you overcame this realizing you don't here with this nine of pentacles this is a very independent energy. So you have a wish granted here with the Nine of Cups as well as the Star. These two together are very powerful energies here. Nine of Cups and the Star talk about wish granted. So any kind of manifestation that you're working on and putting out into the universe at this time here, Pisces, because you've shed these negative energies from your past, because you've shed these player energies from your past here, these people that don't have your best interests in mind, these people that didn't um, show up authentically to your connection in a way that that honored you, they these people were disrespectful. They didn't honor you as a human being. They were tr looking down on you as if you were lesser than human. That's the energy coming through, is that they were looking down on you as a lesser human being. And now they're able to look at you from a distance and see that you're thriving. You're making a difference in people's lives. You're making a difference in your own life, more importantly, and uh, growing, of changing, evolving, and coming into this very attractive, depending on who you are, goddess energy. You're very creative, very abundant energy here in the outcome. This is a beautiful unfolding happening here as you release these people keep blocking their energy because it's ridiculous some of you here are manifesting a ten of pentacles and a two of cups this is your next long-term relationship someone who has your best interests in mind this is long-term happiness financial stability as well the karmic card is here justice this is something you've earned this is good karma so whoever this is that's coming towards you, they're coming towards you very slowly, but this, this might be the next person that you marry here, Two of Cups. This is karma, good karma playing out here. And it didn't come without heartbreak, heartache. It's gonna look effortless for a lot of people looking at you here, Pisces. They're gonna see this as effortless that you that you're manifesting, that you're creating this new abundance for yourself. It's going to look like you're, things are just easily flowing towards you in a way that's very abundant. Like you're going to have a lot of, I don't, I don't want to say envious people, but just people that are confused and wondering how in the world you're able to pull this off, how you're able to create this abundance for yourself. And then you have these past people here that are still heartbroken over your connection while they're sitting in this heartbreak because they weren't fair to you here. The judgment card here, here is here. These people are facing some sort of judgment for treating you the way that they did. The high priestess is here. 
and the four of wands again so we have the four of wands again these soulmates from your past here facing judgment as you step into this high priestess energy this high priestess energy of strong intuition strong abundance strong um unfolding of this contract from these people from the past wow what a reading you guys thank you so much for watching this reading hit the like button for me and i'll see you in the next one